Monetary and fiscal policy play a key role in ensuring economic stability and trust in policy making. And they're also joined at the hip. Both of them have a big impact on economic activity as well as on each other. The current configuration of high inflation alongside financial vulnerabilities is a sign, is a symptom of the fact that these two policies had been reaching uh, what we call the boundaries of the region of stability. That was already evident pre-COVID when uh, policy interest rates were hovering at historical troughs, central bank balance sheets had reached levels only seen before during wars, and public sector debt was at historical peaks in, in many countries. What happened afterwards, a very strong policy response to COVID, simply took the two policies one step closer to the boundaries. The region of stability identifies the constellations of monetary and fiscal policy settings that are consistent with sustainable, and the key word here is sustainable, economic and financial stability, and that also keep the inevitable tensions between the two policies manageable. Drifting outside the region of uh, stability can generate big economic costs in the form of high inflation or economic slumps or financial crises. For monetary policy and fiscal policy to operate firmly within the region of stability, it is important that they operate with sufficient safety margins or buffers in order to deal not only with the inevitable future recessions, but with those unexpected negative economic shocks that are bound to happen at some time. In order for this to happen, it is important to have a keener recognition of the limitations of macroeconomic stabilization demand management policies, which have been used for far too long as de facto engines of growth. The only way in which we can achieve sustainable economic growth is through structural policies that tackle the limitations of the supply side of the economy, as opposed to operating on the demand side.